Well, switching gears, millions of Americans deal with diabetes every single year here in the U.S. But the disease can also cause other problems like depression. Mary Nichols has one man's story in today's Check Your Health report. That I definitely had diabetes, and from what they could tell, it's a pretty serious case of diabetes. During a vacation to Hawaii, Glenn Biesinger noticed something was wrong. A trip to the doctor would reveal that Glenn had diabetes. After that diagnosis, Glenn's life took a downward turn. Just couldn't deal with it or blamed it on everyone else or everything else and just figured I didn't deserve, the, deserve it. You know, like I said, I just lived a really good, healthy life and was in great health. So I, couldn't, I couldn't take it, just couldn't admit to it and deal with it. His wife left him, and as the months turned to years, Glenn's struggle with diabetes made him depressed. Probably one of the bigger challenges, right, trying to help people understand that depression is a, is a chronic disease like, like diabetes or heart disease. Or Dr. Tim Johnson, an internist for Intermountain Healthcare, says a diagnosis of a chronic disease like diabetes can cause depression. Well, sometimes there's an in inherited predisposition to depression, and they haven't done anything to cause the depression, it just happens. Depression can make it tough, Dr. Johnson says, for people to control their diabetes. That's why mental health experts are brought in to work with patients who may be suffering from depression. But I think if you kind of describe to them or talk to them about that and don't judge them and help them understand it's kind of a natural thing for a lot of people who have chronic disease. It took eight years for Glenn to realize he needed help. But lots of people get diabetes, but the real key is how you, how you respond to it. And I didn't do very well at that for a while. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health.